नमस्कार दोस्तों आई एम डॉक्टर सुरेश ठाकुर योर केमिस्ट्री टीचर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस स्केल्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी एक्चुअली देर इज नो डायरेक्ट मेथड टू मेजर इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी बट बाय यूजिंग दीज स्केल्स वी कैन मेजर द इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी वैल्यू एंड फर्स्ट मैथड इज मोरिकन स्केल What is Mollikan scale? Actually, Mollikan scale uses the value of ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy, average of these values. So, on Mollikan scales, electronegativity of an element is equal to ionization enthalpy plus electron gain enthalpy divided by two. If Ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy they are measured in electron volt, right? Now this molecules electronegativity is equal to same sum of ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy divided by five forty. If these values are measured in kilo joule per mol. and this value is again sum of ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy if it is divided by 130 if it is measured in kilo calorie per mol right so keep in mind if these values as are measured in electron volt then their sum is divided by If values are measured in kilojoule per mole, then it is divided by 540. And if these values, ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy, they are measured in kilo calorie per mole, then it is divided by 130. So this is Mollikan scale of electronegativity. Now, second is most commonly used scale that is Pauling scale. So let us discuss Pauling scale now. So Linus Pauling gave the scale of electronegativity by using the scale. If we have two atoms A and B forming a bond, then difference in electronegativity between these two. Is equal to zero point two zero eight and under root of delta. What is delta? I will let you know. Or it is equal to zero point one zero one seven delta. Actually, this scale is related to bond enthalpies. It is based on bond enthalpy measurements. so if bond enthalpies are measured in kilo calorie per mole then value is 0.208 and if bond enthalpies are measured in kilo joule per mole then this value is 0.1017 and what is delta it is equal to eab minus square root of E A A into E B B. This is geometric mean of A and B. Actually, what is E A B? This is bond enthalpy of A B bond. E A A. That is. Bond enthalpy of A A bond and E B B is equal to bond enthalpy of B B bond, right? So this is about the Pauling scale. Now, so if bond enthalpies are measured in kilo calories per mole, then it is multiplied by zero point two zero eight. And if bond 
enthalpies are measured in kilo joule per mole then it is multiplied by 0.1017 okay and at the same time ponings scale and uh, now uh, one more thing as this is a difference right so what we do we take a reference atom as hydrogen and its electronegativity is taken as 2.1 and by taking this 2.1 as electronegativity of hydrogen we can calculate electronegativity of all other atoms and maximum electronegativity comes out to be of fluorine and that is 4.0 okay so most of the time we use Pauling scale of electronegativity okay now Pauling scale and Mulliken scale they are related to each other by electronegativity of Pauling scale electronegativity of any element on Pauling scale is equal to electronegativity of any element in Mulliken scale divided by 2.8 keep in mind Okay. Now last one and this delta is also called resonance energy. Sometimes we can use arithmetic mean okay but geometric mean is most accurate one. Okay so that is called resonance energy. Okay. Now last scale is all red roco scale of electronegativity and according to this scale electronegativity according to all red roco scale is equal to 0 0.744 plus 0 0.359 into z effective divided by r square so this ordered roco scale is related to covalent radii it is related to covalent radii means this z effective you know it is effective nuclear charge and effective nuclear charge to calculate effective nuclear charge, we use Slater rule. It is measured by, it is calculated by Slater rule. And the, this we have discussed. You can watch previous video. Okay. And R is covalent radius of that particular atom covalent radii in angstrom okay so according to order of scale the one which has high nuclear charge high effective nuclear charge and low radius small radius is more electronegative because electronegativity on this scale is proportional to effective nuclear charge and inversely proportional to radius of the atom okay so fluorine fits better there okay that's why fluorine has highest electronegativity in the periodic table so these are three scales first scale was molecular scale it is related to electron gain enthalpy and ionization enthalpy values second scale is Pauling scale it is related to bond enthalpies third is all at Roco scale, it is related to covalent radius. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. Do like, subscribe, and share my channel. God bless you all. Happy learning.